A battery recycling plant in Vernon is shut down by the state over allegations of toxic pollution. It's operated by Excite Technologies, one of the world's largest producers and recyclers of lead acid batteries. Eyewitness News reporter Miriam Hernandez tells us there are fears in that surrounding community. A shutdown ordered immediately. State regulators say this battery recycling plant in Vernon poses an imminent danger to public health. Exide Technologies has been releasing arsenic to the air, according to the Department of Toxic Substances Control. And now the plant itself has disclosed that pipes are leaking metals and contaminants into the stormwater system. Do you feel safe here? No. But you live here because you have to live here? Yeah. The developments come as the California Environmental Protection Agency reports Vernon, East LA, and Baldwin Park are among the top 10 most polluted areas in the state. The South Coast Air Quality Management District says that as many as 110,000 people surrounding the Exide plant are at a higher risk for cancer. Regulators say that, quote, Exide's cancer burden is 10, meaning that over a 70-year period, if the risk were not reduced, 10 people would be expected to get cancer, unquote. People have to come here to work. They can't wait till they get out of here. Boutros has operated a business in the high pollution zone for 30 years. If I have the choice to do my business somewhere else, I would not come here. Officials at Exide did not return our calls today. Regulators say Exide's role is to help the environment as it recycles 22 million vehicle batteries a year. Quote, Placing these batteries in a landfill wastes an important resource and can pose significant risks if not handled properly. But recyclers must also play by the rules, unquote. Regulators say the suspension order will remain in place until Exide stops the release of hazardous waste and can operate safely. Meantime, community meetings are set in May to detail the health risks to the residents. Miriam Hernandez, ABC7 Eyewitness News.